make a vote of confidence uh, into Greece today. Um, our intention is to accelerate the investments into the country beyond the investments which we have done already. Greece has made significant uh, progress in all sectors um, and belongs to the front runners when it comes to the efforts and the uh, ambitions uh, in the digitization. And we believe there's business for us. So, you know, we believe that, you know, we can create a win-win situation. Well, dear, um, uh, dear Tim, uh, dear Dominique, uh, dear Michali, uh, we're very, very excited about today's uh, uh, announcements. And uh, I, I do consider the decision taken by the Deutsche Telekom a board to be a, a vote of confidence uh, in the country, uh, a vote of confidence uh, uh, in your uh, excellent uh, local team and uh, in uh, Inote, uh, but also I think a vote of confidence in, in our policies to really drive digitization at a much faster uh, pace and to be leaders rather than laggards within the European uh, landscape. Uh, and we've discussed uh, numerous times the uh, opportunities that uh, Greece presents uh, as, as a country that can be a leader in the digital transformation. We've made a lot of progress when it comes to, uh, to mobile. I'm very, very happy to hear that we have exceeded our targets uh, regarding uh, 5G penetration. But of course, we always knew that uh, we were laggards when it uh, came to fixed line connectivity. And I'm really uh, thrilled that you've taken the decision to focus uh, on, uh, on that part of the market so that uh, you will, we will be having at least from, uh, from OTE 3 million uh, new ultra-fast uh, uh, connections by 2027. As you said, 600,000 uh, connections at incredibly fast uh, um, speeds uh, uh, per year. This is going to significantly uh, improve our standing, not just within the, you know, within the DESI index, but uh, is going to make uh, Greece uh, uh, particularly attractive when it comes to connectivity for households, but also for businesses. And, uh, you know, Tim, a lot of people have decided uh, uh, after the pandemic that Greece is a great place to work from. Um, uh, but in order for us to make Greece even more appealing, we need uh, good connectivity, you know, uh, covering, uh, uh, you know, a, a big, uh, yeah, a, a big chunk of the, uh, as, as wide a, a population coverage as, uh, as possible with the best possible um, uh, prices to be competitive on that front. Uh, uh, and I think uh, your decision uh, uh, really helps us uh, to, to move in that uh, direction. I would also like to uh, applaud the decision that you announced today, that you will double the, exi the existing uh, speeds for fixed line. I think this is going to make a, uh, a big difference. It offers uh, certainly a, uh, a short-term relief um, in terms of our uh, connectivity speeds, which, uh, as you mm -hmm. know, are, are low when we keep receiving you know, lots of complaints uh, uh, about this uh, problem. But I, I would really like to focus on the, uh, on the medium to uh, to long-term investment uh, decision. Uh, I'm sure your board, Tim, will be happy once you look at the, the returns of the uh, 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 investment uh, and once you do the math uh, uh, in a few years um, uh, from now. Uh, there is a clear business case, I think, for, for, what, you are, um, uh, for what you are doing. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, this decision um, uh, will be vindicated from a financial uh, point of view. We're also always happy to, to, to engage when it comes um, um, to European regulation regarding digital. Um, uh, obviously, we, we all have a keen uh, uh, interest uh, and we would like to follow this discussion as closely as possible and take, of course, into your consideration uh, your thoughts and your um, proposals. And uh, uh, there's no reason why also within the concept of strategic autonomy, we should not focus on strengthening um, our uh, European uh, leaders uh, in the field uh, of, uh, uh, of of telecom. Uh, so, finally, as uh, you know, as uh, and of course, important, your investment in Festos. Festos is an innovative fund that is essentially recycling um, uh, public money, but also private investments in, into a fund that will focus on the 5G uh, ecosystem. Uh, it's very interesting what's happening, Tim, now in the, uh, the high-tech uh, space in, in, in Greece. It, it is really booming. I think we, have, we will have a, 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 a number of, of, of Greek unicorns 
uh, they already uh, exist. This was inconceivable um, uh, a few years ago. Uh, so um, the idea of uh, having a dedicated vehicle that will invest uh, in the 5G space in, uh, in early stage investments also from uh, a, biz a business point of view, a venture capital point of view, uh, seems to me like uh, a reasonable, a very reasonable uh, investment, especially given your overall uh, presence um, uh, in the country. Within um, the, the context of our, uh, of our clearly defined roles, uh, we will do our best, as we have always done, to help significant investments in the country. We're very, very, you know, you, you've stuck with the country during very difficult periods. Uh, and we very much appreciate that. Uh, and I think now is a time for you, but also for the country, to benefit from what I consider to be uh, a, a uh, hopefully a booming decade uh, in, in terms of growth that will that should exceed uh, um, the uh, eurozone uh, average. So uh, you're in a good place um, to to invest in Greece. We're absolutely confident about that, uh, and uh, um, uh, we are very very. Uh, enthusiastic that you're contributing. This is another step, important step towards uh, uh, the modern Greece uh, uh, we want. So thank you for your, for your commitment and we're very, very excited about what you just announced today.